The LM curve shows different combinations of interest rate and level of output where the financial market is in equilibrium. To derive the LM curve, we start off with the financial market. The supply of money is determined by the reserve bank. Demand for money is determined by the level of income. The interaction between the demand for money and the supply of money gives us the equilibrium interest rate, say 10%. So the financial market is in equilibrium at the interest rate of 10% for the income level Y1. The LM curve shows different combinations of interest rate and income where the financial market is in equilibrium. In other words, at Y1, the financial market is in equilibrium at interest rate 10%. So this point represents the point where the financial market is in equilibrium given an output level Y1. If there's an increase in the level of production to Y2, the demand for goods and services will increase. Now the increase in demand for goods and services will lead to an increase in the transactions demand for money. So therefore, the demand for money curve will shift to the right from income level Y2. The increase in demand for money led to an excess demand for money in the financial market. Now to get rid of this excess demand for money, bonds will be sold. If we sell bonds, the price of bonds will decrease and the interest rate will increase, leading to a new equilibrium, high interest rate, where the demand for money is equal to the supply of money, say 15%. The output level of Y2 led to an increased demand for, for money, which led to an increase in the interest rate. So the interest rate of 15% corresponds with an output level Y2. So this point also represents a point where the financial market is in equilibrium. If we link these points, we have the LM curve, showing different combinations of interest rate and output where the financial market 